Well, at first, because of where we are, not who we are. See, most Muslims, he say that the first thing we need to discuss and the first thing that's most important is the Aqidah. You know, the Muslims, first we got to discuss the Aqidah. Make sure our Aqidah is right. Aqidah, we've been arguing about Aqidah now for the last 15, 20 years. We never get beyond that. Until some brothers, they separate and leave one mosque or to another mosque about the Aqidah. And then they get to that mosque and they argue about the Aqidah and they make another mosque. And they keep on as if the Aqidah is the reason why they're doing that. Aqidah is not the reason. The Aqidah is static. The reason have to do with them. They're using the Aqidah as an excuse. They want to separate from each other anyway. So the best thing to do is we'll call each other names and then that's it, justify it. I say one of the first issues that we need to address as Muslim brothers in the society where we live is how we deal with our women. We need to specify and clarify what's the role of the women. You know, I asked the brother, and the brother, he was honest, and so I hope I'm not putting you on the spot, because, you know, I asked you something, and you was honest. I asked you, I said, do you have a majlis here? You said, yes, right? Yes. I said, is there a woman on the majlis? You said, no. I said, so what, what's going on with that? Come on, brothers, what's going on with that? Come on, don't you know that women are in the majority? So if they're in the majority, I don't say they should be in the majority on the majlis, but definitely they ought to be what? Represented? You say, come on, Sheikh, what you mean? Historically, ain't no women on no majlis or shura. Who said that? I didn't say they should lead the prayer. I didn't say they should give the khutbah. I didn't say they should be the emir. I didn't say they have to sit with men. I said that. Women need to be represented. And they don't need to be represented by their husband. We are talking about shaking hands here. We're talking about the sensitivities, the thinking, okay, and the critical issues relative to women and children. Who is best to represent that but women? And brothers, do you understand the country that you are living in? Do you understand that the speaker of the house in this country is who? Who is it? A woman. The Secretary of State is a woman running for president. And you mean to tell me among Muslims, we refuse to give women the right to be represented on a majlis? What kind of foolishness is that? Where did it come from? I'll tell you where it comes from. It comes from cultural thinking. We got to put that cultural thinking to a side. You will never promote Islam in this country as long as you are trying to promote Islam based upon uh, 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 male testosterone. That's not the way Islam works. You know, Umar al-Khattab, doing his khilafah, he appointed a woman to be in charge of one of the largest souks in Medina, a job that normally would go to for, for what? Men. Check in, go and check in the weights and see who's doing whatever and see how the dealing is being done and all that. And he appointed this woman and she, she was doing her job. The people, they, some of the merchants, they got an attitude. And they, they asked Umar al Khattab, what are you doing? Why you send this woman just to be examining us and talking to us like that? You ain't find, he said, if I had found any men that had, could do what she's doing, I would appoint them, but I didn't. <laughs> but Umar was strong so nobody could say nothing, right? Well, I'm saying to you brothers that you need to reconcile that issue. Now, I didn't say that women need to be representative on the majlis based upon their number. I didn't say that. I only said that the voice, the sensitivity, and the thinking of women need to be present whenever you make decisions. Now, based upon the issues of hijab, based upon the positions of sensitivity, it's up to the people, the knowledgeable people, to figure out the best way to do that. But you have to do that. Because if you don't do that, you, can, you don't have a social paradigm that you can offer to this country. Because you're falling into the same thinking that they always accusing us of, and that is what? Being oppressive to the women. Now that's a big subject, uh, but we can discuss it because everything can be discussed. Next, the place of culture. The place of culture. Let me be clear about this issue. 
The place of culture is subordinate in Islam. Culture is not the driving force among Muslims. No, culture is a passenger in the vehicle of Islam. Islam is not the passenger in the vehicle of culture. And that's what has happened among the Muslims here. Muslims always want to be talking about Quran and Sunnah, but in reality, it is everything is being driven by culture and ethnicity. And if we're not honest about it, you can't correct it. You're in denial. And denial is not a river in Egypt. Denial is not a river in Egypt. Denial is rejecting is rejecting what is obvious. You know, it's like your pants are torn completely apart in the back. And everybody telling you that, but you just keep on refusing that because you just like those pants. Or you just, you like exposure. So, the role of women and the place of culture. Culture must be made subordinate to Islam. No Arab over non-Arab, no non-Arab over Arab, no white over black, no West over East. We don't care about Arabs and Asians and Africans. The culture is beautiful, but it must be subordinate to the principles of Islam. Culture has no place. Why you keep on asking every time brothers come together, where you from? Where you from? Why you wonder where I'm from? Because you want to be judging people. You know, brother, what mess did you belong to? What, what this issue, where does this come from? What mess did you belong to? Allah says in the Quran, in the masajid, the masjid belonged to Allah, so how I belong to a masjid? This is a thinking that has been prevailing, prevalent, and we need to subordinate it. Let's appreciate each other's culture, like Allah said, لتعرفوا. لتعرفوا. Let's understand, let's appreciate, and put it in its proper perspective. But Islam, the Quran, and the Sunnah, and our sources is over culture. And we do not drive our jama'ah, or our group, or our congregation, or our choices by this issue of ethnicity or culture, even if we're doing it in a Turkiya kind of way. You know, the Muslim, they say the Shia, they practice in Turkiya. Huh? Yeah, they say, the, they say Shia practicing that. But lots of Muslims is practicing that. <coughs> they just do it in a different way. You know, among some Muslims, they are maintaining huge organizations on the basis of some agreement about ethnicity. And me, I don't mind to speak who they are because I meet with them all the time and they don't like me to say that, but uh, look, the matter is in your face. Islamic organizations are being preserved on the basis of ethnicity. It's haram, and it's something filthy. And the Prophet ﷺ told him, get rid of it. Next, the formation of the jama'ah. Ah. We have to discuss it, and we have to form it. Next thing is the proper doctrine. We have to make sure we're following the aqidah of the, the, the Salaf al people. We, I, you know, me, I'm not calling myself Salafi. Unless it means that I prefer to follow the three generations of the Ahl Salaf. If following, pre preferring to follow what was understood, what was practiced, what was loved by the three generations, if I want to follow them, then by that I'm Salafi. But if being Salafi means I gotta take a name and then I got to call other people certain other names, and I got to isolate myself from other Muslims by using this name, Wallahi, I'm not with them. Because Islam never told us to do that. We don't take the name of Abu Bakr and call ourselves Abu Bakrians. We don't call ourselves Umar, uh, Umar, Umaranians, or Uthmanians, or Alawiyans. And we don't call ourselves Mohammedans. No. No, we call ourselves Muslims. And Abu Bakr, Abu Bakr was the Khalid.